Hey, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Ecom Season YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Hayden and on here we talk a lot about e-commerce, all things specifics on Facebook ads, soon to be some Google ads, just a lot of specifics on anything going on in the industry from updates with the FTC lawsuits all the way through Facebook iOS issues. We're going to be talking about all this stuff over these coming weeks. There's a lot of crazy stuff changing relating to Facebook ads as well as some stuff with the drop shipping space in general, not just e-commerce but drop shipping. So, in this video, I wanted to touch on something that really helped me accelerate my first couple of e-commerce stores. I think it's really beneficial because this is more about financial literacy. This is stuff I didn't learn from three sources, friends, parents, or school. So I feel like it's one of those things that I only learned through two ways, watching other people online back in the day, as well as through my own experience. So when you start making money, if you were like me, you used to not make money. I had to make the decision if I wanted to go out to eat because it was a lot of money. So when my first e-commerce business after eight months started making some money and it was, you know, $3,000 in profit in my pocket, which was already more than I'd ever made in a month, then it was $9,000 or $7,000 or whatever it was, then $10,000, $20,000, it just started growing. That was like, I mean, that was a whole new world of access to money for me. So I was really grateful that for a long time, I just kept my focus on my business. And one thing I recommend you do that's really helped me is stay busy. So let's say you're running this your e-commerce business and it's not taking a lot of time. This is actually one thing a lot of our clients have. They have a lot of time because we run all the ads. I always encourage them to kind of watch what we're doing just to learn because our clients have access to the ad accounts. It's their ad accounts, right? We let them own and control the data. So I tell them to watch it and then start a second store because what happens, and I notice this with myself all the time, if you have money coming in and a whole lot of free time, you're gonna find a way to spend it. And so in this video, I wanted to talk about how to do that correctly because things like this, and I feel like such an idiot standing in my garage filming this video. I'm currently in an Airbnb as I'm moving and this car just got back from being in the shop for almost a year doing the full twin turbo build, which was just a fun thing that I wanted to do. But I wanna explain, because this, this is so dumb to be able to show stuff like this, but let your business run for years and years before you start taking money out or until you know for certain, this is the only key variable. Someone asked me this literally yesterday, which is why I'm filming this video. They said, Hayden, I want to buy an R8. That was the car that they want, Audi R8. Beautiful car, I've owned one myself, absolutely awesome. He said, but I don't know if I should put that money into the car, because I really want it, or into scaling my business. And I said, look, my friend, here's the only thing you need to think about. If you can buy that car, and it doesn't affect how you can act inside of your business. Like if you buy that car, whether you finance it or buy it in cash, and it doesn't affect the way you can run your business, continue trying new stuff or scale, then that's fine. Buy the car if you really want it. I told him some advice. I'm like, look, the Audi R8, great on the depreciation curve. You could buy the car, enjoy it for a year, and basically lose no money. So never buy new, never buy from a dealer, that type of stuff. Like this car, somewhat close to free. It's barely depreciated. So buying things correctly. But one thing that I definitely recommend is keep the money in your business for as long as possible because it keeps the ability for that exponential growth. So it's no different with an e-commerce business. I've done this where even inside of, uh, of our website development, as well as anything else, I just start paying our people more and we hire more people so that we can build not only more stores, but better stores. And right now we mainly build stores over and over again for our clients and our repeat clients inside of the e-com season advertising agency. So if you guys don't know, that's a service where we build the Shopify stores, we do all the product research, we charge like $100 or $150, whatever it is, we make no money on that. There's next to no profit in that company, especially when you factor in any amount of advertising. But the focus for us is that helps us get people into e-commerce or it helps our clients get another income flow for very inexpensive and then almost guaranteed, right? Because we're giving them a store that has everything on it. And then from there, it's just a game for our media buying team to test products. And eventually you'll find a winner. It's just like, it's sales. It's you talk to enough people, you'll get a sale. It's the same thing with door to door sales or whatever. So as we continue to do that, we just continue to invest back into the team. We invest back into the research and the development and can spend more money doing so. So that's one thing that I've really learned over the last three, four years, and it's helped me grow the e-commerce stores. Nowadays, I don't pull money out of my e-commerce stuff, very, very rarely. All of the e-commerce profits minus the money that would affect the growth of, of the business. So I keep a lot of cash in the business because we need it, right, for inventory and for making sure, let's say we wanna run some huge influencer campaigns and we need 30,000 for this. 
I always keep money in the accounts there just for the e-commerce stores, but my e-commerce money is what funds the real estate, right? So everything else I can use to reinvest back into the business, I can use to reinvest into other business ventures, and those are the things that I can start messing around with. So figure out a structure that works for you, but please, 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 don't try to spend a lot of money quick. Just focus on the business. It's really fun. Run more stuff. You know, don't think that you can't run multiple Shopify stores because you definitely can. There was a time where I had, I think, over 30 stores running. I wasn't doing that alone. I had a few partners, but trust me, our days were 16 to 18 hours. They were full, and I was spending next to no money on anything else while doing that. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. You get to learn a lot when you get to see multiple perspectives, multiple products, and multiple industries. So, that is my advice to you. I think this is probably the first or second video I'm posting into 2021 focus on that just make this year all about growth making more money and learning more right and doing more inside your business that's the fun and even if you don't have a passion for it, like to be honest i know a lot of people who start e-commerce i was one of them because it was a money thing right i wanted to make money and i knew i could do it in there but after you do something for a while you will in almost every situation get a passion around it i don't have a passion for I do have a passion for e-commerce. I don't have a passion for the whole business. I have a passion for Facebook ads. That's what I have a passion for. So I found a specific thing inside of there that resonates with me that I like. You might really like filming cool video ads and never outsource that because you like it and you get really good at it. Everybody has their thing, like building websites. I hate building websites, but I got really good at it and then I just trained other people. So now I don't have to do it. So things like that, you gotta learn all the components and then you'll be able to find out what you like. So I'm pulling for you, I'm pushing for you. I'm here if you guys need anything. There's a bunch more resources linked in the description. Everything from our Facebook ads program to buying those custom built stores all the way through a free checklist that we have if you have never started e-commerce before definitely go through those eight steps all right and then if you want to talk to our marketing agency and speak with a client manager about what it looks like for us to run your ads and not charge you 20 grand a month or 30 grand a month we actually partner with you we take a super small retainer and a percentage of the profits there is a contract and everything everything is legitimate but it is still a very simple structure so if you want to at least talk to someone about that talk about our ad budget our ad strategy and what that looks like make sure to click one of the links in the description and you can find that call there. Okay, just fill out the application. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see covered here on the channel into 2021. I'm excited to make more content built around obviously the ad strategies as well as the ad platforms, but also stuff like the apps that we're using for email marketing, for SMS marketing, for upsell, stuff like that. So I'm going to go through all that, show you guys how we set it up just to maximize the conversions and the effectiveness when you're bringing on a new expense to maybe pay for a new app or something. So looking forward to it. Hope you guys are enjoying the content here on the channel. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.